Hi, do you know you can turn rice husks into a high yielding fertilizer? I'm Samuel Rigu, co-founder and CEO of Safi Organics and this is my story. When I was growing back uh, in the village, I experienced firsthand the challenges smallholders farmers face in their farm. And I resolved and told myself I'll solve these challenges. Interestingly, uh, farmers pay two to five times the world fertilizer prices. This is definitely unacceptable. So, Safi Organics was actually started to help farmers uh, convert their crop residues into a high performing fertilizer that can be that they can have access to any time that they need it. Initially what happened I came to Moya in 2013 because I grew up in Yandaro County. I came uh, here in 2013 and basically I was coming to buy rice actually but I saw the heaps of rice husks and I was like okay what do guys do with this and I was told they just burn it has no commercial use and I made it my business to ensure that we get something to do with the rice husk so initially my thought was we can convert this to biochar uh, to briquettes and definitely this will put a coin in the farmer's pocket uh, Unfortunately, our briquettes, the first set of briquettes that we made, didn't boil a pot of tea. So it was a total failure. So at that point, I partnered with one of the companies, large mosquito coil companies, and we produced quite a lot of mosquito coils and sold uh, throughout the country. But in terms of the economy, call status of that uh, it was not that feasible so that is the point where now I said what if we take this back to the farm or to the farmers what would it do in 2014 I had one farmer Mr. Dan and I asked him to use the product in his farm uh, it was just plain uh, the plain biochar nothing added to it and uh, that time he doubled he actually doubled his yield because we counteracted the acidity effect in his farm um, when he called us for a goat eating actually after that so i knew we had an idea but the big question was does the farmer still have to go back to the shop and buy fertilizers now so from that point we started researching on different combinations that we can use uh, to create fertilizer from the biochar now the good news is our fertilizer will have both the liming effect as well as the fertilizer effect or provide nutrients to the crops so that's how I ended up and uh, in 2015 we registered uh, Safi Organics as an organic fertilizer company the good news is um, through the production process we have been in a position to come up with different methods of production so this helps us uh, in tailoring the, uh, the fertilizer uh, to a specific farm so that we can alter, we can actually alter the pH of our fertilizer, either to be acidic or to be alkaline, depending on the need of the farm. Initially, actually, we were doing the whole process here. So we would do the carbonization here. But now we realized that um, it is one of the bottlenecks and definitely uh, was taking quite a lot of time and also limiting uh, our capacity. So what happened is we chose uh, to look for people uh, to work with and people we can train uh, on how to convert the rice husk into biochar. So indirectly we say as Safi Organics we are employing about 30 youths locally. Once we get the product uh, in the facility, 
uh, we take it through grinding uh, to reduce the bulkness. Uh, after we grind it, uh, we uh, we add a special nutrient mix to it. Now the purpose of this uh, nutrient mix is actually now what makes it a fertilizer. So once we have added and depending on the product that we want to have at the end, we have different combinations. So we are able to create a base of fertilizer which is used majorly for planting. We are able to create a top dressing uh, product which is used uh, for as a top dressing fertilizer. And we are able to make an acidic soil, a specific acidic soil amenda for the extremely acidified soils. So we have a product for that. So depending on what we want to achieve, we use different uh, combinations of uh, the nutrient mix. And now once we have mixed it, uh, we package it in 50 kg bags and it's ready for the market. It retails for between 1,700 to 2,000 shillings, depending on which product uh, that you asked for. Uh, however, I would also mention that we have a foliar product, a foliar fertilizer product, which originally we used it as a fortifier for the biochar, uh, but now we decided to make it uh, for the market. It's actually certified and uh, we sell it as a foliar fertilizer. And uh, because we also realized that farmers uh, sometimes use more fertilizers in their farm than it's needed or they underuse the fertilizer uh, depending on their economical status uh, we decided to bring in a soil testing service so uh, we help farmers determine accurately what they need for their farm in terms of fertilizers and recently uh, we have developed an agronomical service uh, for the farmers where we work with the farmer from the beginning of his planting or land preparation to the time of harvesting. So we are a very good partner to work with as Safi Organics. In terms of, uh... Starting something new is both interesting and challenging uh, because when it started uh, the first question I remember uh, when we started going to the farmers the question was what do you want to tell me my waste can be my fertilizer. Come on, this doesn't add up. So that was the biggest cha challenge in terms of changing the mentality of the farmer from the fact that this is waste and you can use it in your farm to increase your yields. So you had to do a lot of demos to, uh, to overcome that barrier. One of the things for us, we, we believe that uh, waste, uh, agriculture should not have any waste. So in terms of looking at rice value chain, uh, rice husk has been one of the biggest waste and one of the biggest stress in terms of management both to the environment as well as to, uh, to the farmers. So this is something that we are bringing to an end and we are bringing uh, value to something that was previously not regarded as important to something that is now worth, uh, its worth is like that of gold. Because previously you'd get, uh, when we came here in, back in 2013, 2014, you'd get, uh, rice husk would get dumped here actually. So uh, today, they sell it to us. We buy it from them. Uh, so that tells you we have really changed uh, the system. And the good news is uh, once we are done with the, uh, the rice husk and we have converted all the rice husks, including the one that we do anticipate uh, because of the expansion of the, uh, due to the Thibadam, uh, we get uh, to use other rice husks, then we can use any other crop residual waste in the country. So talk of bagas, uh, talk of uh, corn, uh, wheat husks, uh, talk of stalks, talk of rose waste. So we are looking into all this waste and we believe that indeed this is something that we can convert to very high quality uh, fertilizers. That is my story in helping farmers grow organically and sustainably. As you can see, we are producing very healthy and beautiful veggies from our fertilizer. Share your story 
in what you're doing in organic farming.